Oh yeah, River's back with some cool tech, and today we have the Tronsmart T428 Android Mini PC. This guy's got the latest Rockchip A9 quad-core CPU, the RK3188, which should make it nice and fast even when stressed out with lots of graphics-intensive apps. It's also got some other nice upgrades too, including 2 gigs of DDR3 memory, Jelly Bean 4.2.2, and it's got upgraded Wi-Fi with the option of 5 gigahertz capability as well as 2.4 gigahertz. On the outside, it uses its case as a heatsink that wraps all the way around, so it seems to do a pretty good job of keeping it cool. Under the cap, you've got your full-size HDMI port. On the other side, you've got your micro USB port for powering it and a full-size USB port to run an accessory or go to a powered USB hub for multiple accessories. On the side here, you've got your micro SD card slot, which goes up to 32 gigs, and you've got your flash mode button. I really like the fact that they put a button on here because it's so much easier to use than the button in the hole. You don't have to worry about the button resetting the device if you push it while it's running either. It doesn't do anything while it's running. What would be really cool is if you shut down the device using the software and use the button to turn it back on. I went ahead and updated to the finless 1.4 ROM for the T428. It's based on the stock ROM that it came with and uh, it runs really nice. Nice and snappy, seems just fast and responsive. Let's go through the settings real quick and then we'll do a few benchmarks on here. So Wi-Fi on this guy for me worked really well, I haven't had any problems at all, it connected right up in about 20 seconds I'd say. Bluetooth is Bluetooth 4.0, works great, devices connect very easily compared to earlier versions. And you've got your screen resolution here, it's outputting at 1080p, 60 frames a second through your HDMI 4.1 port. Next we have storage. During the install of the Finless ROM I upgraded from 500 megabytes to 4 gigabytes of app storage. That left 2.6 gigabytes of data storage plus I have a 32 gig micro SD card for more storage. I'll put a link to the upgrade video in the description below. And finally, we've got the software information here. You can see it's Android 4.2.2. It's a finless ROM. Uh, if you have another 4.2 device, you can do mirroring. Uh, it has to be a supported device, though. Uh, Nexus 7 doesn't support it right now. Next up, a little bit of CPU info. So we can just go ahead and check this. It says four cores, all the way up to 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, we've got a Neon device here, ARM A9 uh, architecture. Next up, we'll do a quick benchmark on Linpack. This usually gets about 70 to 75 on most of the dual core Android mini PCs. And it's getting anywhere from 100 to 130 on the T428, so really good score there. Next, I hooked it up to a watt meter to give me an idea of how much heat we were going to see. And during normal operation, just running the desktop with live wallpapers, it was getting about 2 to 4 watts. When I'd fire up CPU intensive tasks like Antutu, it would jump up to 7 to 10 watts. So 10 watts I'd say is probably going to be your max. And it was warm but never hot. Anyway, Antutu ran well and we didn't see any of that choppiness on the graphics test that we did with the MK908. As you can see here, it's running nice and smooth. The final score came in at 15,284, which is uh, really good. It's probably about the best thing I've tested so far. And just to give you an idea, my Galaxy S3 comes in around 10,000. I decided to give Next Launcher a try because it has a lot of visual effects that I thought might bog down the CPU. Can you guess what happened? It actually ran great, nice and fast, and easy to use. Plus, it's got this awesome button on the side that makes it really easy to switch between desktops. You just click it and drag up and down to go between your multiple desktops. I think I'm going to use Next Launcher as my permanent launcher for this Android Media Player. The only downside I've found so far is a few apps didn't work on there, they'll just close down after you run them. Uh, I totally expected this with Android 4.2, I knew there'd be a few bugs because it's, it's just so new, but this will get worked out eventually. One app that gave me a problem on here was Netflix. The menus all worked, but the video playback wasn't working correctly. There is a workaround for this. If Netflix is your favorite app, you can install Android 4.1.1 on here. There's a Finless ROM available. I'll put a link to it. I'm sure Netflix will get fixed in the future too. It's a hugely popular app, so there should be a lot of people working on it. Whenever I get any updates on Netflix, I'll put it in the video description down below. I did get XBMC working on here. I used the version of XBMC that uses MX Player to play your videos. It's not perfect, but it will play all your local files. Overall, I'm super happy with the Tronsmart T428. The speed makes it so much nicer compared to the old 3066 devices I've been running. And it's nice just not having to wait for anything. And overall, I think it's actually running really stable considering it just got a huge update to 4.2. 
One thing I really like about the T428 is the Bluetooth. It finally links up to my MOGA game controller. I've always had problems in the past keeping it connected to different amps, but using the MOGA Universal Driver it connects really well now. You can see here it really works well with Dead Trigger. Now I'm not saying the Bluetooth wasn't working for me before, but it's really working well here. I think it has something to do with Bluetooth being 4.0 or maybe the chipset, but it seems to be more stable. I'll put a link to the MOGA controller and the Universal Driver in the video description. Okay, one last thing I want to show you today, and that is a cool trick if you want to sit on your couch and send videos to your Android Mini PC. So you can pull up pretty much any video on your phone and you'll see the little share button at the top there, so that's where you would like share to Facebook or something like that. I have a program called iMedia Share installed on there, so just hit that share button, scroll down to iMedia Share, hit it, and it's going to give you a choice of places to send it to. And this one is linked to the Android Mini PC up here. Hit that and it's going to put the video from the phone onto the TV. Well, I made this video pretty much for an April Fool's joke, but you get the idea that you can pretty much send any video from your phone. If it's available to be shared, you can send it to your TV from your couch. By the way, this is not the same thing as mirroring. This is called DLNA. If you have an Android 4.2 device that supports mirroring, you can mirror the screen of your phone 100% of the time to the T428. This is kind of fun when you have several people with smartphones and you can just kind of go back and forth sharing stuff off of your smartphone onto your big TV. My buddy was trying to show me his new Galaxy S4 the other day, but we ended up just going back and forth sharing hilarious videos on his big screen TV. Alright everyone, that's all I have for the Tronsmart T428 today. It's a nice little player and I love the speedy quad core CPU in it. I'll put a link to it along with everything you saw in the video down below. Be sure and subscribe for new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that like button down there, that's all I ask for. Thanks for watching and as always, Aloha.